Hi, I'm Jillian, the Compass Reporter. And you know, recently I met Seattle Interactive, and just the other day I got a virus. It was a crypto virus, a ransom virus. And so I was pretty excited to go like, oh, very hardcore into security, so online security. So here I am with Barry Heard. So tell us, um, I don't know, a tip or something to help us people. <laughs> to help everybody who has one of these devices running around the world. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of basic tips to think about, but really the, there's two or three. The ones I think about the most are uh, how people log into websites. So we've all gotten very accustomed with mobile phones to, yeah. to use that Facebook button, just log in and create your account. Uh, really think about, that's like having a single set of car keys that accesses everything in your life and potentially not even just stuff that you own, but things that your family owns and your friends own and all those houses and condos and cars are represented by that single set of keys and when we use that function whether it's Facebook or LinkedIn or some just simple password function in a browser so when it has when it says you want to use Facebook yeah really really think about that that you're, you're clicking a button saying I want to use one password for all of this stuff and I'm usually thinking, yeah, maximize, however. Yeah, well, <laughs> however, you, you lose that phone or somebody gets a virus on your computer and all of a sudden that one password has opened up everything that you've done for six months or more. And it gets scary when you start thinking about, hey, it's just not Facebook. It could have been your bank account or your phone service or your utility bills. No, they can pay my utility bill. That's fine. Well, they, they can, but what, what happens if they... Your, your utility bill has your credit card already pre-approved and they pay their utility bill with your credit card. I get it. Uh, there's all these things that we, by being lazy, just give them access to. And If we had just gone through that extra five seconds to make our own password and our own account, we, a couple months later, would have saved ourselves a lot harder. And you were saying earlier that, like, um, sometimes um, with your consulting, you um, go through some different accounts from your clients. Um, yep. tell, us, tell us about that. So there's a lot of times there's this whole phenomenon online where they call it bring your own device, where you know an employer gives you a laptop, and you're like, I don't quite like that laptop, so I'm going to use an iPad or my okay, smartphone. Yeah. You're no longer using employer equipment. You're bringing your own stuff in. Okay. And it... When you use your employer's equipment, you're relying on the fact that there's an IT guy or somebody out there who's making sure that equipment is secure. And, and if, if you lose it, they've got a process in place to make sure that the accounts that were on that are all secure. And if, uh, if you're in a big employer like a, you know, a major brand like a Microsoft or a Starbucks, they'll have that done in hours. And all so your stuff's locked up. When you've looked at that, was there data that you could... Was there data kind of left on those devices that could... A lot of times when it comes to that bringing your own stuff to it, like a standard smartphone, now we can have 32 or 64 or 128 gigs of information on that device. You know, I, two years ago, 128 gigs was what I had on my desktop scenario. And think about all the files that people keep on their email when they have a smartphone. Yeah. If you've got clients or work, all of a sudden, you've got six months of records that somebody who has that phone now has all of those files, and it, that causes a huge privacy concern, not only for you, but for everything those files affect. Uh, I ran across sales managers who a simple sales report had 10,000 clients on it. You know, those 10,000 clients could destroy their company. Yeah. Uh, if it went to a lawyer, it could end up in a major lawsuit. But ultimately, it, any one of those guys who didn't know about it, they they could have just lost money, and now you're the you're responsible for hurting one of those ten thousand people. Yeah. So Barry was mentioning earlier as an example of, of banking. Well, I use Bank of America, and I do have kind of like an autofill. You have to put in the password, but I think I'm going to rethink and look at my cell phone as well, and and simple logins, not use my Facebook uh, uh, for four things that matter. Yes, yeah, simple logins. Don't uh, use any simple logins. Go through the effort of making your own password and your own account. Okay. And if you do use the same password, really make sure you're asking yourself the question, if this password's compromised, does it matter? Yeah, and you know, I have personal experience with that just recently. Ah! So listen to Barry and it's Epiphany. Epiphany Metrics. All right, thank you. Thank you.